Hey everybody, Cody with Cooking with Cajones. I'm taking a break from uh, building the chicken coop. I know it's out of sight, but uh, we're building the chicken coop. We've been building it the next last um, three weekends or so. Um, so we should get pretty far along this weekend, but I wanted to take a moment and cook some, uh, some turkey breast roast um, that we're gonna cut up into some sandwiches. It should take about four hours of smoke. I've thawed them uh, for several hours in some cold tap water. Um, I've got the Rectec um, preheating to 240 and we're gonna slap those on the smoker. So I'm gonna use a binder today before I put on the seasoning of uh, some Zoar Tapetry Company uh, maple syrup. If you haven't tried this maple syrup, I'll put the link down below. Um, every batch is made kind of like a batch of whiskey. Um, it is different than any other um, maple syrup that you've ever had. It's, it's cooked. Um, not to the point of caramelizing it to a point where everything tastes the same. All syrup tastes exactly like the other. Um, this is different. She pairs it. The wife of the, uh, the owner or one of the co-owners, I, I would be better to say, uh, she pairs it like a, uh, like a bottle of wine. So this one's got some tri dried plum notes. It's a bold syrup with uh, molasses and bourbon and some mineral notes. So I'm going to use that as a binder instead of olive oil. Um, but you can use any maple syrup, any olive oil. Um, really anything you want to bind it. So uh, we're going to coat that. Coat each turkey breast here. Don't have to go crazy on it. Just enough to coat it. And then I've got some, uh, some blend that I made up. It's uh, heavy on the garlic. Um, a little bit of um, cayenne pepper to give it a little bit of kick, but it's your traditional barbecue seasoning blend. Use whatever you like. Uh, if you have a favorite blend, um, this is just a blend that I like to create. So um, we'll go ahead and coat that. And be liberal with that because this turkey is gonna release some moisture and it's gonna wash off some of that seasoning. So on average, as you know, you know, when you put something on the grill or the smoker, you could lose about 70% of your seasoning. The beautiful today, day today here in Augusta, Georgia. It's going to be 66 today. It's sunny. Perfect day to do some construction and have some good uh, barbecue turkey sandwiches. So... All right, guys, we're going to put this on the smoker here. It is preheated to 240. We're going to place them directly on. All right, and like I said, it'll smoke around four hours to an internal temperature of 165. Um, about when there's about 30 minutes left or so, maybe when it's about 140, I'm going to go ahead and brush some barbecue sauce on there. I've got some uh, Lily's Carolina barbecue sauce. It's a tomato blend from North Carolina. I'm going to go ahead and coat that on there and give it a little bit of uh, char on the outside and make let it cut up and uh, make a beautiful sandwich. So um, I'll let you guys see the uh, final product. All right, I'm going to get back to building. Thanks. All right, y'all, we pulled these off at 165. We're going to cut it up. We let it rest about 10 minutes or so. Ooh that is beautiful. Look at that. Perfectly moist. It took about, uh, I don't know, I'd say three and a half, four hours, something like that to cook. Had to cut the netting off. We're going to make a sandwich on some Cuban bread here. Slap some of that on. Slap some pickles, some pickled onions. A little bit of barbecue sauce. Come here, Tom, get you some of this. Oh, find that. Very nice. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. And that's nice, it. Man. Easy breezy. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs>